The Nigerian Bar Association said the rule of law was often assaulted by the federal government through its misconduct and high-handedness in 2019. It is the U.S. State's uh, message by its president, Paul Usoro, senior advocate of Nigeria. The NBA demanded strict adherence to the rule of law in 2020. Usoro said, and I quote, in 2020, the Nigerian Bar Association will continue to speak for Nigerians. The association will persist in holding governments to account, particularly as it relates to the promotion and protection of the rule of law and the delivery of democracy dividends to our people, end of quote. He said, paying lip service to the rule of law would not bring about peace and justice in the country. He also condemned uh, getting public officers suspended via an ex parte order by the Code of Conduct Tribunal. Earlier, we spoke with Ayo Ademilo, a legal practitioner and former secretary of the Nigerian Bar Association of Etiosa Forum, and he had this to say. I agree completely. And um, the first thing to say is that upon what premises is the Nigeria Association making that uh, assertion. Mm -hmm. And that one now goes down to the fact that what itself is the rule of law and what amounts to a uh, breach or violation of the rule of law. Uh, by all general definitions, the rule of law amounts to uh, maintaining the independence of the three arms of government vis-a-vis -vis compliance with the uh, ground norm, which is the constitution, for the enablement of progress and the fulfillment of the purposes of government. Now, if you look at it, the, the, one of the main three pillars of uh, the rule of law is the independence of the judiciary. Uh, number two is also the uh, independence of the legislature and the ability of the, the third one is the ability of the executive to comply with the constitution. Now, by all those three tenets, we have seen a breach of uh, majorly the first one, the independence of the judiciary. Actually, the judiciary is meant to play the role of interpreting the law. What you now see as uh, evidenced by actually the, the invasion of the court uh, with the Suarez uh, saga is a vandalization of the rule of law by nobody else but the current uh, uh, what Punch has now termed as the general Buhari led uh, regime. So, we, or as far as the general association is concerned, we have seen lawlessness on the part of this regime. We have seen uh, attack on the rule of law on the part of this regime. And coming forward into 2020, we are we are on that scorecard of putting uh, the government on its tools. Our association, uh, 30 years back, under very uh, vibrant leadership like that of Allah Akabash uh, was a social vanguard against military, uh, lawlessness, against violation of court order, mm -hmm. as we saw under arguably the only radical president of the Nigeria Bar Association at that time, which was uh, Allah Akabash uh, And But uh, 30 years down the line, we have seen all variants of leadership, national leadership. Mm -hmm. But what is crucial is that the motto of the association is the promotion of the rule of law. Now, every leadership of the association is under that obligation to promote uh, every cause that would lead to the how? promotion. Because now, so this is, we've had this rhetoric over and over very, again. Now, and you've come out to assure that you will try, um, you will do something to hold the government accountable. How do you propose to do that? Because before now, we haven't seen actions that show us that you would do something well, like one that. One of the higher decision making organ of the association is the National Executive Committee of the association. I can uh, tell you that the neck of the association will meet us from time to time and takes into cognizance this measure. For instance, you recollect that in, and, in the same 2019, there was a uh, lecture uh, court by court by the association at the instance of arguably the most uh, vociferous attack on the independent judiciary, which was the uh, purported uh, suspension of the Chief Justice of Nigeria 
upon an expiry order that was not signed. Now, it is clear that all those measures are still in place. The bar still has the asana of employing all those tactics in the coming period. Well, uh, we certainly hope to see that. Very well. uh, let's move on and look at the ex parte, the issue of the Code of Conduct Bureau uh, well. using ex parte um, orders to remove people from or suspend people from office. Can you shed more light on that? Please? Very well. Uh, I, we, in our entirety, the by the provisions of the Constitution of Africa in Nigeria, the Code of Conduct Tribunal is meant to be a quasi-judicial uh, tribunal. In fact, it's not even headed by a judicial officer. A judicial officer, by the provisions of our Constitution, is a, the head of court of the of superior court of record starting from the high court of a state that up to the supreme court for instance uh the magistrate of a magistrate court is not a judicial officer by that interpretation the same thing applies to the code of Conduct Tri tribunal and its chairman and you look at the position of the constitution the code of Conduct tribunal is meant to take um uh, uh it's meant to take uh offenses relating to violation of the code of conduct as included in the constitution and all of that. Now, you cannot, by, 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 by our status books, you cannot by an expert order, because one will be expert, that means that without notice to the other party, you cannot by an expert order, now order suspension. So in every material particulars, the Code of Conduct Tribunal is acting on travers of, its, of the provisional powers as provided within the Constitution of Nigeria, 1993 as amended. So we have seen as exemplified, uh, with due respect to that uh, tribunal, as, uh, as exemplified by the Onoge saga, by even the, 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 the recent case of Azuka, Zinges uh, saga, that that court is becoming more or less a punching ham of the presidency in terms of attack on rule of law, or in terms of even usurping uh, judicial functions unto itself, the national elections of the Nigeria Bar Association is holding this year. Okay. Now it is up to lawyers to make a positive choice in terms of electing accountable and vibrant and fighting leaders. We are in a state of war. We are in a state of siege on our democratic rights, living conditions, and rule of law. It is time for the members of the bar to elect a leadership that can go to war with them.